hey, this is how to replug some some balls uh, as far as slam balls go. You guys that are in the fitness space, the slam balls, they often fail. Sometimes it's not a leak. Sometimes it's the valve that's failed. And I have, I don't know how many balls that have failed. Those are 20 or 30 slam balls. And they all have the same problem. I checked them for leaks. The only place they're leaking from is the valve. So I looked high and low to try to find valves. And lo and behold, I'm just replacing them with regular basketball valves off Amazon. So what I found works is you buy on Amazon a package of basketball valves. It usually comes with a tool. One side of the tool is to take the old valve out. The other side is to push the new valve in. Um, because I'm a little anal, I used a little bit of rubber cement. And this actually helps to massage the valve into the ball. So I use it almost as a lubricant. And then as it, as it dries, it kind of cures and, and helps with the seal. You have to make sure the old valve is out. Luckily, most of my old valves are out. Here's what happens if you go to pull a valve out with this side and you don't do it properly, you're gonna tear the stem out as well. So you have to be careful when you're pulling the valve out with this end. Most of the balls we have, they failed because the valves actually popped inside. So you just put it on this rectangular end and you just kind of massage it and work it into the ball. You have to make sure you don't push it too far into the ball. If that happens, you have to start over again with a new valve. It needs to go flush. So from here, I start massaging the edges in with the same tool. You still have to be a little bit forceful as you push. But the idea is eventually you want to work it in to where it's flush with the ball. This is gonna be the hardest part of the process and I use a towel to protect my hand because the tool they gave me um, hurts and I'm a wuss. So this whole process is gonna save me about 70 bucks. These balls are $67 a piece. I tried all kinds of other, other ways to do it and nothing seems to work quite as good as just replacing them with basketball valves. But there you go. Now I'm going to let that sit up for about a day and then I use just a regular bicycle punch with the needle and, um, and it fills it back up. So I've got five down and 40 to go. <laughs>